y'all what's good what's your poppin i'm tanisha if you're new welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can see from the clothing rack we got another fashion video and the clothes for today are from the company called nasty gal now this is my first time trying this brand and i actually have the book Ugh by the owner of the company, which is called Girl Boss, Sofia Maruso. And I read this book cover to cover and it was really, really good. So after I read the book, I decided to do some shopping. Granted, it was a few months later, but still, here I am. So I'm gonna see what the hype is about and let's just get into it, I guess. But before we get into the clothes, I just wanna say that if you're new or just not subscribed, please consider subscribing, you know, do your good deed for the day. And yeah, leave a like, comment, all that jazz. Y'all know the deal, you know, it's free, it's a good time. Let's get into the clothes. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna start off with what I'm wearing right now. I have these really cool pair of jeans. I was looking at all the jeans that I have in my little dresser and I was realizing that none of them are like super unique. So I found these two tone pairs and I'm feeling nice. As you can see, it's medium wash mixed with a light wash. It fits really well from the back. But I will say when I took it out of the package, it was a little, it had a little funky smell. It was a little fish market factory. I don't know, but it had a smell. So definitely gonna throw these like in the wash or something after this video. And then on the top, I've always wanted one of these tops that are just like super dainty with the spaghetti straps. So I picked this up. It is a pretty good material. It's really nice and thick and the straps are stretchy. I'm gonna look in the mirror. But yeah, I really like it. I'm feeling good. This is like a cute little you know, spring summer outfit. If you don't feel like wearing a dress or a skirt, you know, I'm feeling nice. I like it. Next, I'll do all the tops first, I guess, since I have pants on. Next up is this white halter top. <sighs> I wish that was like a montage of me trying to put that shirt on because it took me about five minutes. I struggled hard to try to put this shirt on. Never mind the fact that it is a little bit cute. It is cute but I'm irritated because it was so hard to put on. It was didn't help because I had a bun and I didn't want to mess it up. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm hot, okay? And um, another thing that made this shirt hard to put on is that it's like that, um, what's that material? Like this polyester, like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's not like a cotton material. Um, so that didn't help. So I do highly suggest that if you are looking at getting this top, you size up. I think I got this in a two. Definitely would have been fine in a four. It fits fine. Um, but it is cute. It's cute. It's irritating, but it's cute. I just couldn't get my arms through here. I was like, I'm my one. But yes, this is the top. This is the sweaty girl in the top. Next. Next up is this really cute, kind of silky, really girly off the shoulder top. I think it's perfect for summer, which is why I obviously picked it up. The material feels really nice and airy, which is good. So I'm gonna try this on. I must say that halter top was a lot easier to take off than it was to put on. But can we get into this top? Can we get into it? Okay, first of all, it is super, super cute, but it's not doing it 100% for me. You know, I was rooting for this so hard, but it's just something about the construction on me, I guess on my body type, whatever, that's just a little off. Like it has stitching here, I guess, obviously that's for where the cups go, for the breastuses, and that's like not lining up good. And then this keeps flopping around, like, I was rooting for you. It has so much potential, but only thing potential brings is disappointment, okay? It's just, it's so cute. Don't get me wrong, it's so cute, but it just doesn't fit me how I want. Like even here, this part's a little, a little too big for your girl. Oh, this would be so cute on vacation though. Oh, are you kidding me? 
I have one more top to try on. It's like a corset style type of top. It has like a faux mock neck here. I thought it was really cute. It does seem like it'll be see-through, but we'll see. Well, this is a lot easier to put on than I expected, but say it with me now. Potential brings disappointment. Yeah, disappointment. Only reason I'm saying that though is because it is too small. So it's not a manufacturer problem. It is just that I needed to size up. It is really cute though. Really stretchy, really breathable. And this would have been a 10 out of 10 for me if it was just one size bigger. I think I'm gonna go back if it's still available and get it in a bigger size because I really do like this top. I like the illusion of the corset that it has. And yeah, it's just really cute. Okay, so this was the last top for the haul. So I'm gonna try on this next pair of jeans. This one, all right. <laughs> bear with me now it's like the cutoff jeans that flare you know i wanted different types and styles of jeans that i don't like what what i wouldn't normally wear pretty much so pray for me that this won't be a complete flop <laughs> okay bear with me now i know this is not everybody's cup of tea but i really like these Girl, they don't really smell bad like these ones did, so that's also a plus. But I don't know, it's just something about how these fit on me. Wow. These with sneakers, heels. Do you see the vision? Even this top, like it's cute with, if it fit me right. Okay, nasty gal, you are changing my mind here. Can y'all even see the proper fit of this? Where am I going with these? <laughs> Do y'all see me? Let me stand up. Bust my butt. Do you see this? <laughs> oh. Coming to a country farm near you, baby. In style. <laughs> ah! Why am I like this? Okay, no, but seriously, okay. On a serious note, I really do like these pants. I love how they fit. They fit my waist perfectly. And they just give me that like really casual chic vibe, which has really been my thing lately. So I appreciate that. And so the next pair of pants here. These are a pair of trousers, as you can see, checkered. Um, I definitely will say the material is, is cheap. And the material is cheap. It's very thin. Um. But I'll try it on, you know? Maybe when I'm wearing it, it won't look as cheap as it feels. Let's see, I got them on. Oh, the button here on these pants is on the other side. Is that like a European thing? I don't know. Was that something stupid to say? <laughs> hey man, all I know is it's on the opposite side. Okay, so let me see. Mm, I don't know if I really like these on like the fit here is a little strange if it's nice like in the back it's just giving me pajama pants christmas morning um am i being too harsh on these pants it's like big here by the ankles to be fair though my ankles are really slim so it's hard to like find pants like this material that fits well but I don't know if I'm being too harsh on these pants or not. You know the test to see if you could wear wear certain outfits like to like a party or something. All the girls do a little jiggle. <laughs> I need to stop. Like, Wait a minute though. The more I look at it, the more I like them. So I don't know. What do y'all think? Hit or miss with these pants. Let's move on. I forgot I got this swimsuit. Oh, it's a really cute color, huh? Um, I'm not gonna be trying this on, but it's this really cute pastel baby pink. It has ruching in the front and the back. It seems like it goes really high waisted though. Bam. And then it has a really cute top that has the same ruching detail as well. These are really small, the triangle, so be careful of that. Oh, actually, you can you can extend it. Just kidding. 
But yeah, if you're like more busty, you gonna have some spillage. <laughs> we'll see how it fits. Right, next up. Y'all, I like the pants. I like the pants. Let me try these on. I got these pair of boots. They're like a snake print, oh, cute chocolate brown. Yes, I'm a fan. I really like them. So while I have pants on, I'm just gonna try these on. It feels really uh, nice, nicely made too, which is a plus. And I got them in a size seven. So let's see. Let's see if they're true to size. Ugh. So. My toes said, oh no, no way. Next, let's go for this dress. So I picked this out just cause it's like super cute, girly. I don't know, where would I wear this? You tell me. I stay in my house all the time, quarantine or not, but this would be cute for a date, I think. Wedding, date, but yes, let's try this on. Okay, this is the dress on, and honestly, I'm not mad at it. I can't fully zip it in the back, so it's not fitting 100% like it should. And also this V is a lot lower than I would want. So if I wore this, I would have to pin it. But ladies and gentlemen, I actually like it. Stepping out of my comfort zone for this haul has been paying off. Like who's, whose wedding can I go to? Invite me, virtual. Okay, we have Zoom. I will show up and show out in this dress. I like it and I like it more so off the shoulder. It's cute. The only thing I would change is how poofy this part is. Like if I could go in and take out some of the tool that's in here, I would do that. But that's like, I could do that easily. So in my opinion, this gets like a eight and a half out of 10 and it fits really well here. On the sides, you have some ruching, some asymmetrical action. I'm a fan, nasty gal. You playing with my emotions in this haul, okay? And last but not least, I have this silk set. Well, actually it's not a set. These two were a set, but not together. So the pants that were meant for this top were not in my size. And the top that were meant for this pants weren't in my size. So, I mean, looking at it, the champagne colors are kind of two different tones, but hopefully you can't tell on camera. But I'm excited to try this on. Ending on a good note here, nasty gal. Yes, I really, really like these two pieces. Um, I do feel like you can tell that the silk champagne colors are two different tones, like this one for the top is more deep compared to the pants, which is like lighter. I just wouldn't wear them as a set. Um, I did order this shirt in a size eight, so I ordered it really, really oversized on purpose. I planned on wearing this top was with like maybe some type of lace bralette. Actually, let me do that. Okay, so this is how I would wear this top, but I like the top, yes. Um, the bottoms are a little big on me. I have them rolled up as you can see, so I would have to get them taken in um, by the waist. And also the pants flare out at the ends and they go really, really long, like they cover my entire foot, which I like. I'll wear heels and it'll be really cute. So individually, I really do like these pieces. Again, I just wouldn't wear them together just simply off the fact that they're two different tones. They weren't meant to be a set. I just, you know, tried to finesse. Didn't really work out, but it worked out. But yes, this is the end of the haul. But I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I got jewelry, I forgot. All right, I got some really cute pieces. Let me come close up so I can show you. These are the pieces of jewelry that I got, but I'm kind of confused as to what it is they sent because none of these are a set. So I'm gonna look back and see if that's how it was meant to be, but yeah. Okay, but yes, now that wraps it up for this haul. My final thoughts on Nasty Gal? I would say 
I'm slightly pleased. Like out of all the sites that, you know, I usually shop on as far as fast fashion, it is kind of on the higher end for what, like 12 pieces. I think I spent over $300. So, you know, it is a little up there compared to like, you know, your boohoo or your pretty little thing. Um, as far as the quality, I do think that the majority of the pieces are nicer quality. Like this is good quality. The dress is really good quality. Jeans are good, minus the little stank. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. The quality is good. Um, shipping was fast. But yeah, for my first time ordering, I am pleased. But that wraps it up for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. You're a real one. If you made it to the end and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You know, it's free. It's a good time. I'm a good time. Yes. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course, like I said. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.